Hey guys, it's Alice Turner here with some labor and delivery tips from Supporting Her. And today we're going to talk about how to wear a hospital gown. Now, I have another video you might check out if your question is, do I have to wear a hospital gown? So um, check that one out for more information. But if you choose to wear a hospital gown, let's just give some quick details about it. First of all, it ties in the back. So usually there are two ties, sometimes there's snaps. What that means is that it usually kind of drapes open and might expose your back and the rest of you to the world. So a little hack to make this a little more practical, you can take a second hospital gown and turn it, put it on where it opens in the front. It's kind of like a robe. And so you end up wearing two hospital gowns, but it's nice and covers all directions. So when you're up changing positions, maybe you're walking the hall in labor or just in your room, you might feel a little bit more comfortable with the gown on two gowns so it covers the back. The other thing that you can wear with a hospital gown, if you want to wear the gown provided, is you can bring your own robe and wear it or a sweater, a cardigan sweater or something like that in labor. Um, just to add another layer of um, coverage and warmth because sometimes you might be cold in labor. The other thing to note about the hospital gown, um, if you're birthing in a hospital, you will likely have access to extra gowns. So usually they're available in cabinets in your room. You might have to ask a care provider or a nurse for one. But if your hospital gown gets wet, so maybe your water breaks, um, maybe um, some kind of, you spill water, you have ice, it gets on it. Um, there's lots of fluids and labor, lots of liquids going on. Um, don't hesitate to change out of the gown. Um, don't feel bad if you go through several hospital gowns in labor, that's very normal. You want to be comfortable and um, usually changing your hospital gown, if it gets wet, is a way to be comfortable. The other thing that's a little trick is that if you are in labor for a long time, so especially if you go overnight and you start a new day with a new sunrise, I found that people that change, um, almost like they're starting a new day, uh, maybe, you know, um, brush their teeth, uh, get on a new hospital gown, it just feels better, you feel fresh. Uh, and you can do this if you are at if you are mobile in labor or if you are not mobile, if you have an epidural and you're um, laboring in bed, you can do this. So you can put on the hospital gown, change the hospital gown, um, get a little basin, have someone bring it to you so you can brush your teeth and it's just a quick way to freshen up. Those are your tips for wearing a hospital gown in labor. Hope you found this helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, um, click on that like button if you liked this tip and share with a friend. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.